Yo, what is up guys? I'm here today with a live reaction to Tales of Zestaria episode 2. Let's jump right into this. Ixo. I'm kind of late with this reaction. I like like when the episode aired, I didn't react to it right away cuz I was busy like for a couple of days. I'm just a human. Oh, he's a human? So I was wrong? Sorry. No one knows where these shepherds are? Wow, I thought he was a shepherd. I mean, how recent he's human, right? But how can he do some of the shit that he did? Or can, um, what's it called? Like, the princess do that shit as well? No, he doesn't seem like that. We're, try we're on a hunt for shepherds and, and we can't even find none. We finally find someone who we think is a shepherd and next you know he says, no, he's human. Wow. Or is this just a lie? Maybe he's lying. Who knows? I feel like they could be lying because if they maybe they don't want to give information like that because look this place is sacred where she entered, right? I don't know though. This opening it gives you like the fantasy vibes or, and stuff like that. Okay. This opening's good. You know, we basically made it three episodes in. And we've just been searching for shepherds since the first episode. The very first. You know, I'm not even gonna lie, the anime's a bit slow paced, but I don't like, you know, there's no problem with that. I feel like when some animes, like, when they stay slow paced, they actually bring more, you know, later. Like, it's like it's just building everything up right now. See, they're like bringing a human to the village. So like, she's like not, like I don't know. Sure. Wait, what the heck? Why when when she looked at him she we did, couldn't see him there? Hmm. I wonder if she could see I know I know this is a dumb question. I, I, let me not say it yet. Let me see what goes on for us.
I don't know, like, what? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like she shouldn't have did that. Like, something like that. Wait, what? She can't see them? They want her to leave? I knew it. She can't. Like, when she looked up, she couldn't see them. I noticed it. I was like, wait. Or is it just me? Like, she can only see the Sure? Sure? I feel like she shouldn't have said what she was saying, like, you know what she said? How come she can see him, though? I get it. He's a human. So when he was saying I'm a human, he wasn't lying. All right, all right. So basically, he's a human who's lived with these people, right? And now he could see them, everything like that. So she can't see them I don't, because she hasn't lived with them or whatever. But he could see them, and he's human. That's why she could see him. So if he was one of them, she would have never been able to see him. I'm trying to sit comfortable, like, for some reason I'm not comfortable sitting here. I'm for, sorry guys, if I keep moving. What the heck? What type of shoes are those? Are oh, they worried about you? She's having nightmares? Who could blame her? How did she escape that exactly? I would be scared too. I have nightmares for the rest of my life after seeing what she saw. Like with dragons and shit flying. That little girl. Oh my gosh. 
That poor little girl, she was running to her and next you know she just died. We have a common goal here. Is a lie, right? Uh, just a fairy tale? She doesn't believe it no more? Never give up hope. I mean, you can't say it's a fairy tale after what you witnessed. You saw a dragon, you know? Like, you can't even say stuff like that no more after what you witnessed. You should know, like, you know? Like, I would believe the legend even more because this made me realize, like, there's things like this out here. The grandpa. They were keeping an eye on her, like watching her, observing her or something. Hmm. Picture you fall from a height like that. There's no way you could survive. You won't even know where you fall. Like, it just looks like endless sky right there. The gloves. <laughs> oh, come on, stop playing. I mean, I guess, right? You should believe as well. He's trying to give her hope. Sure. I feel like it's Sure. Like, I feel like he could do it. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like he could pull the blade out. Because you, you would never know. Or maybe it's her. Maybe she could pull it out. Alicia. Oh, 
All she did was what? Hmm, she felt them? She could sense them? And they're right there too? I won't- Do you want to? I, I think he should, right? That would be cool. She thinks he's a legend? He's someone like you? That's what I was, I mean, I was kind of thinking that, like when I said he could be the one to pull the blade. I feel like it's him, like he's the legend, like she said. We should do, go, like do it. What? The old guy just jumped like that? Oh, that's the dude? That dude that transformed- that's what they're called? Hellion? Hellion? Whatever? He's killing them? Mason? Hellion. You know, this guy's strong. You know, you shouldn't rush with fights like this, like... J Damn! <laughs> you know, the animation is gonna be godly here. Shit like that. <laughs> Got him. So they good one. We should have killed him, right? I feel like we should kill him. I don't think that killed him. Yeah, look, see. Yeah, it had no. Oh, so he was going for the kill, but it had no. Grandpa. You better leave. You know, you sometimes you don't mess with old people. See, he knew what would it come if he kept staying. Like the grandpa would have killed him or something. But you know, it's all about the past. Hmm. 
Mm. He was talking about, you know, the princess? Alicia, yeah, he's talking about her. And now he's going after her to save her, right? You're gonna leave everyone? You should say something at least, right? Okay, all right, let's go. It's gonna be a good journey? Be free. See, he knows this was gonna happen. Live life to the fullest, of course. No regrets, none of that. So I feel like now, next episode is when stuff starts getting more serious. Oh, preview of next episode? So this episode was basically about Alicia being surrounded by the people here and being watched. She was also being watched by the grandpa. You could see that through, like, you know, scenes when you just saw the weird shoes that the grandpa wears. You could see that she was being watched. And even though she couldn't see the people, she could feel her presence. And it kind of took me a while to realize that she couldn't see them. Because when we he was talking to Mikulio, right, she wasn't there when she was talking and I was kind of wondering like wait isn't he with us and then it would always like he would always be there when Sude was looking so it was like what all three of us are together but she can't see him or whenever she starts talking he disappears and also when she went and she said you know she was calling out that people help her in something like lend me your voice and she was just screaming it out you could see that no one was there but when we saw Sude and he turned around, he was like, looked like trying to introduce her. You could see everyone was behind him. So you could see like, you know, not all people could see them or you have to basically be like a selected few to be able to see them. So Sude could see them. So you, that even gives you more hope or even shows you that later on in the anime or at some point, there's going to be things that the others can't see that Sude and Mikulio will be able to see in the future on. And they're coming after Alicia because look, that wolf dude, he's been after Alicia for a while now when you think about it. Since what, episode zero? After the fight and everything like that. And now that I'm kind of thinking about it, if the wolf dude is after her, then that girl that he was fighting before, remember the first episode, episode zero, when they, like, it was this big fight? Was that girl trying to protect Alicia? That's what I'm thinking now. She was trying to protect her or something of that sort. That fight was going on. And now to see that he's still chasing after her. So we have to take care of this dude or he's going to be a problem. Because I don't think he's going to give up chasing her. So it's either kill or be killed in this situation. And this dude is so strong. You can't, like, he could kill us 2.5. I love the animation in the fight. It's so crisp and beautiful and well done. And it shows you they're giving it their all. Oh my gosh. Good animation. Good animation. I'm freaking loving it. I love the animation, guys. I can't even help but, you know, be hyped just seeing the fights and stuff like that. And just thinking about what's going to come in the future. And, you know, like, to see, like, how the grandpa was looking over Alicia, everyone in the town. It shows you, like, they kind of respected her a little bit. Or, like, they, you know, they didn't think she was that bad. I don't know. Because, look, you, some people can say, oh, they were looking after her to make sure she doesn't do anything bad. But then I look at it like they were looking after her or just looking at her. 
to see how good she was or like if she was like you know like something like that like they were just watching her watching her how she does things and stuff like that and how she interacts with Sude or to see if she wasn't gonna cause any problems I don't know though the fact that the grandpa covered her up during the nighttime with a blanket to keep her warm just shows like they respected her at some point and she did mention like she could feel their presence like she was being watched so that means something right there cuz like at least she was able to feel their presence like at least even though she wasn't able to see it she was able to feel the presence most people they wouldn't be able to feel the presence or see so it shows you something and towards the end she gave her name to him it was kind of funny when she bowed down he was like hey don't bow down like you know raise your head you know and she's like a princess he doesn't know that but we do she's a princess and she's bowing her bowing down like you know princesses aren't supposed to do that and she did that so it was like hey don't bow down here i like how you had Sule and alicia how they were bonding he was talking to her trying to make her believe not really trying to make her believe but saying how he believes how he has so many dreams and you know how they have the same dreams like it's similar they have similar dreams they have similar things they want to do and similar things they want to see in the future so it's great to see that so it kind of gives us a common goal we're gonna meet again we're definitely gonna meet again and we're even coming after her right now to save her so it shows you we might see each other next episode i know there's gonna be a big fight with that wolf dude or something but thank you for watching guys if you made it to the end you're awesome don't forget to like and subscribe peace out